Buen viernes, otra vez. Estamos aquí en las Friday Trainings. Uh, come on, troll. It's not time. <laughs> ok, uh, en fin. Estamos aquí otra vez, otro viernes, en las Friday Trainings. Estáis más que bienvenidos. Que sepáis que esto es ITNIC, que estamos aquí todos los viernes haciendo una charla de business, de diseño, de diseño de ingeniería, como hoy, <ríe> marketing y algunas de miscelánea. Y bueno, deciros que, que esto, que os podéis registrar, a, os podéis apuntar a nuestra mailing list de, de la web de ITNIC y cada semana os mantendremos informados de esto. ¿Vale? Muchas gracias por venir y sobre todo a pasarlo bien con Marcos, que creo que hoy nos va a dar una charla que va a darle. Muchas gracias. Antes yo quiero hacer un spam múltiple. <risa> Tenemos unas pegatinas de Indy de puta madre que nos ha hecho Camalún, que seguro que conocéis, y que ahora os vamos pasando para que os quedéis una cámara. Perfecto. Pues muchas gracias y disfrutad. Sí. Bueno, yo en principio, bueno, hola, soy Marcos, eh, trabajo para Timbox, ahí está Pablo, mi jefe, y Charles, y, ah, no, ya lo dijo, eh, eh, soy diseñador gráfico y el resto son todos programadores, y en principio iba a hacer la charla en inglés, porque me parece que hay más de una persona que... So I'm gonna start talking in English, uh, sorry for my accent, sorry if I make some mistakes, but, okay, it's okay. So, uh, when Xavi and Jordi asked me for, for a for doing a speech here. I started to think about uh, teaching some the basics of design or some, st some of that stuff, but I thought that was a little bit boring and everyone does that, that, that thing. So I was thinking that if uh, they told me that uh, the speeches here were about uh, marketing and code and that stuff, I was thinking that we could do something more interesting about the relationship between designers and coders, or programmers or developers, uh, whatever, the name, whatever name you want to call them. So, I say that why can't we be friends? Because in my life I've been a designer for like eight years and since the start I've been having issues or problems or discussions with uh, a lot of programmers, different ones. <coughs> so that's the title and I think we can, uh, as you've surely experienced with some designers, uh, coders and developers, uh, coders, developers and designers can work together fairly easily. Uh, I'll talk about me and my background, so maybe. Uh, I started, as I said, like 10 or 8 years ago, uh, working in Terrassa for a company called Lynx. And I started as a flash programmer, actually. I did the action script and a little bit of animations. And as they seen that I uh, they see that, that I was more or less okay programming, simple stuff, like uh, little variables, uh, for, if, uh, do what, well, that stuff. I was starting to code some websites, and it was in the flash boom, if you remember, in the beginning of the thousand. Yeah, uh, every, everything was done in, in flash. Everything has animations and you know explosions and the text moving and that stuff because it was very easy to do. So I had like uh, all the websites in the in the company came through me, and I had uh, half of them designed by me and half of them designed by another guy who was a print and old print designer who didn't know that the websites were done in, in pixels. So she, he used to give me the websites done in Corel Draw. That was awful. Uh, not in Corel, in Corel Draw and in centimeters or millimeters instead of pixels. So it was a nightmare. So I uh, was being the, the part of a programmer trying to develop something or program something that, uh, badly done, badly designed. And through the years I stopped doing flash programming because I not, uh, wasn't good enough and there was other people who studied uh, programming and was uh, better than me. And I changed and I started to learn a little bit of HTML and CSS and I more or less, now I'm comfortable with, with this and that's what I do with Teambox. I design stuff and I try to do myself the markup uh, whenever I can, and if it's too complicated, and if it has to be done with Ruby and with Go, I delegate to something, some, someone else, to something else, actually. Uh, to <laughs> the programmer. Things to know about me, as I said, I started design, and a bit of typography, but that was like four months. I uh, started as a web designer, passed through Flash, 
and now a work for team books. You can purchase a license if you don't have one. <laughs> you can talk with Pablo. <laughs> and I work classes, yeah, that's important to know. The design of mines. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, tell you a little joke I know about, uh, that was uh, by the great uh, comedian called Eugenio. <laughs> It's a very bad joke, but I love uh, jokes by Eugenio. Uh, there's a, an old man walking down the street, and he finds another a colleague. And the colleague says, hey, how do you do it to keep so young? And the man says, I try to avoid discussions. Then the friend says, that can be true. And they say, OK, it's not true. So that's the joke. And it's, I, I think I think in that joke as a philosopher of my life. And I try to avoid discussions. So when I program say, that can be done, I say, OK, that can be done. Then I try to investigate and talk to another programmer, and if I find that can, that can be done, I come back with a stronger, stronger thing. So the designer minds, that's mine. No, don't know how many designers are in there. Is there anyone? Two? <laughs> one? Actually, it's just one. So the designer minds, uh, forgive me if this is too rough or if too much. Uh, not all of us are like that, but we used to uh, ignore the limitations of the language we're using. The language uh, in the programming thing. It's, if it's HTML, if it's Ruby, it's Ruby. It's, if it's iOS or anything, or any platform. So nowadays, uh, designers don't know. Most designers don't know that, that stuff. And they have to rush and learn it. Because back in the 90s, uh, they, was just, uh, they just had to know how to design stuff. And they were thinking about uh, the paper, uh, the colors, and the ink. And then the printer came back, uh, came after them, and solved the, the, all the puzzles. I actually had a friend who was a printer, and he used to tell me that uh, the designers made, made a lot of mistakes, and then the printer solved them before the uh, magazine or the publication went out. So we used to ignore it nowadays, more or less. Not everyone. We care about front end, but not about uh, back end. So we care about uh, a slideshow showing properly. But we don't care if it's done with JavaScript it's, uh, with, or, or any language. Actually, I don't know. Usually, it's done with jQuery or something like that. So I don't know. I don't know too much about it. I haven't done any slides. But OK. And we live in the country of lollipop and the rainbow. We care about colors. Everything has to be nice. Everything can have a, a shadow, like in Photoshop. Uh, but we are trying to, to change that. So, that more or less is a designer's mind. Okay, that's what everything's. Uh, that's a cliche. Everything. Everyone thinks that we like pretty stuff and that and that things. The code design. That's not right. Okay. The code design. That's uh, how I or the designers see the programs usually. <coughs> Actually, I repeat. That's all cliche. You don't think about the importance of design usually. And when I see you, I see you because there's. Two designers in the room, and the rest of the rest of you are marketing or programmers. So you don't usually care too much. You prefer to make it work, and but not to be easy in the eyes. So sometimes things work, but they are so ugly that people don't use it. Or actually, if you don't have a, a user interface designer, they just work, but people doesn't know how to work with, how to use them. And as everybody does. Uh, the coders has an opinion about design, because everyone does. Everyone can say, oh, I like it, I don't like it. I had a teacher in, in the school that used to tell me, the, tell me that uh, like or no like was a wrong concept in, the, in a design. You used to say, you have to say, uh, this thing works or this thing do doesn't work. Because if you're not uh, communication, if you're not making the message uh, arrive to the people, it's not, it's not right, actually. So you, you can say it's not nice, it's nice or not nice or super ugly. <coughs> so the solution. Well, I think I think very quick. I think I'm gonna run. I'm gonna finish this in like ten minutes. The solution is basically, uh, as I've seen in my life, my young life, it's a communication. You have to talk with each other and get mixed. You cannot be always separated. Let's see the points that I've prepared here. This beautiful slice. As I've seen in the, all the projects I've done, if you make a, a good uh, meeting before the project starts, when you get the first briefing, you can solve like 50% uh, or 70% of the of the pro of the problems that will come up in the during the project. 
because usually the programmers take the job. They do it. They start thinking how it will work, which database uh, they are going to use, or which language. And if a designer gets it by itself, uh, they used to think uh, how bright the colors will be, which font, which typeface, or uh, that kind of stuff, or which images, or what style, uh, from you know, retro or whatever. So if you mix them together, like starting to talk, like having a chat the, with the right frame or with a uh, rough briefing, you can solve a lot of problems because you start talking and mixing and saying, okay, I'm going to do this with uh, this database. And it's going to mean that the, the designers uh, won't, maybe he doesn't know what you're talking about, but he may understand it when after two weeks you say, do you remember we got to do it with this database? And the designer will recall and say, okay, yeah, I remember. And then you told me we cannot do uh, a call every minute. We have to do it like every 10 minutes. So you might solve a lot of problems in the beginning. You cannot do this meeting. That's what I recommend, eh? the performance steps always. If you cannot do this meeting, try to do good briefings, either if you are the designer or the programmer. If you don't, if you don't explain it well, uh, nobody will get it. You've got the project on your mind that you can express it, so you're working by yourself. You will do uh, your job, and you won't care about the other one's job. You will try to deliver your part of the job, and if it's not done by the end of when, when the time the deadline, deadline comes, you will blame the designer, but the problem was yours because you didn't explain and you didn't tell uh, how was the project? And it, it works uh, the other way, the, the other way around. If the designer doesn't explain to the coder, the programmer, how it does it have to work, or what uh, data does in, he, he needs to put in the website, for example, it won't work. And it will blame the programmer, and it will be his own blame. That's the best part of it. Try to understand each other's limitations. Uh, designers doesn't have to code, but they can sometimes, and they can understand how the code works. Uh, I don't know Ruby, but sometimes I get, uh, like today, I went across a page uh, done in Ruby, and I had to put some data. I started to type, copy the variables, or copy the lines of code of uh, the, upper, the upper page, and it, it, was, it just worked, because it was, it was just this variable was there. Okay, it works. So if I understand, if I can understand how code works, because it was fairly easy, you can understand more or less how design works. You don't have to, you don't need to have an opinion, you don't have to, you don't need to know all the typefaces, or what the line hate means, or what the X hate means, that you can understand more or less uh, the limitations that a designer has. For example, uh, I'm sure all of you knows uh, which are the main uh, common fonts in, in the website. Uh, can anybody uh, tell me one, for example? Comic Sans. Comic Sans. Yeah. Comic Sans. 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 And you know Georgia, you know Fiji Times. Actually, Fiji Fiji. what? <laughs> but that's not a, a, a web phone that everybody can use. What about this one? That's not a phone, that's not a modifier. But you know, you know that when you work on design, when, on, on websites, more or less, you can work, we can, you can work with Verdana, Helvetica, or Arial. You know, if, if Verdana is not in the computer, it will jump to Arial. If it's not Arial, it will jump to Helvetica. And if it doesn't, it will jump to, to Sanskrit. You will put it, and it will work. I know it, and I'm not a programmer. And you know that uh, if you want, for example, a serif font, you will put Georgia Times and serif by the end, and it will work. You know that maybe uh, the designer want to put a, you know, a fancy font, but he cannot do that. He, wants, he just can use uh, uh, like 10 fonts. So you know that limitation. So you won't ask him to put, yeah, they put this fancy typeface all over the website. So that would be mistake. You know it. And I know other stuff about uh, code. I undermine this thing, well, undermine, make it bold, because I think it's the most important uh, point. If I can't code, you surely can't uh, design a little bit. Like uh, you have this page design, 
and you have like five pages, but then the client wants a sixth one. You say, okay, I can do that because I'm not a designer. The designer has to do this. But then you read the briefing and it's like the same page that's already done, but with a couple of changes. And if you are uh, good enough, you can just make it work and then leave the designer to just get on the details and polish it a little, a little bit. And I'm sure you can all do it. So, more things you can do. More stuff. You can teach the designer the basics of code, as they do with me in Teambox. And if I've done my whole life, I've learned more or less the, the, the code I was working with. And Git. And Git. Git. I, I don't know how to use Git, but I have GitHub for Mac, so I have no problem. But you have to avoid making the designer code too much. If you uh, hire a designer that can code, it's nice if, if you can do the website, if you can do the, the CSS and the whole market. But if you start asking him too much, it will stop being a designer and it will begin being a programmer that designs sometimes. So would you will be paying him for something that he can do, barely, barely a bit. So try to avoid this. I always tell him that to my boss. I always love to design all the time, but that's not possible. You have to get mixed and get your hands dirty. Work together all the time, if you can. If you are not in the same room, uh, get uh, use Teambox to <laughs> to manage the task and, and talk to each other because uh, I sure I promised you that I, when I start using Teambox, I think that it was great because I was I was able to tell the programmer that something wasn't working and yes, okay, that, this task that you told me to do, I cannot do it. So you you have to do it, and I can explain. Hey, this doesn't work in design because blah 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 blah. And then he can reply, hey, this this is work. Just, just try this. Communication is very, very, very important. I think it's uh, the whole stuff. If you work together, you can achieve great stuff. If you work separately, uh, one will do his part, another one will do his part. And if there's a conflict, if there's a, something that breaks in the middle, uh, you will blame each other. Nobody, and you will fail miserably. And don't estimate his work, both of you. Uh, me as a designer, I try to understand how difficult it is to program. Sometimes I don't understand and I just say, okay, you do it. Just uh, ping me when you're done and we can talk about it. And uh, try to, to say things nicely. Because if something doesn't, run, doesn't work, if you go on and say, this is ugly, this doesn't work, as I was talking to Charles before. This is ugly, this is bullshit. Uh, people are not going to like this. It's like basic communication, basic social skills. You have to uh, care about your partner, care about your colleague. Uh, don't think you're more important. That's more or less the same. Uh, I, I found in my life a designer, and me as a designer, the pre-designer I was talking before, he used to be like uh, God, and he said, yeah, this is this brown. And he came to my computer and said, this is not the same brown. And I said, this is a different screen. So it's can be, cannot be the same brown always in the whole world. He was saying, this is not the same brown. Okay, fuck you. Um, <laughs> try to listen, try to, uh, listening is very important. As I, as I've experienced, and I'm sure you know, listening to the other one problems, even if you don't understand them exactly or completely, it's very important because you're trying to rush people sometimes and they cannot do the work that you're asking them to do. Because maybe because you're asking them uh, something impossible that has to be done in the, uh, in the briefing that we talked before or in the beginning of the project. And then uh, he's uh, being unable to do that and you're just blaming him for something that's not his fault. I think that was everything. You can ask something or applause if you want. You can ask folks. How, how can we hire amazing designers? I don't know. We should hire this guy. Actually, However you want to be the interview. Actually, my boss was uh, more or less angry with me because I, uh, in the newsletter, uh, <laughs> in the newsletter, it wasn't uh, showing that I was working with Teambox. I'm a freelance. I work as an autonomo, paying a lot of uh, taxes, but I work with them full time, so I cannot do anything. Else. <laughs> So that's a little bit my fault because I didn't uh, update my my bike. But how can we hire other designers? Other? 
how, yeah, like how would you find them and, and how would they interview you? Don't feel cheated, just answer. <laughs> Okay, there are a lot of channels to, to find good designers. I think in Barcelona there is a whole community of designers that's amazing. Uh, so I've been living in, in Galicia for four years. I'm moving back to Barcelona for a couple of things that I'm not going to explain now. <laughs> not, not related to the subject. Not related to the subject completely. So, uh, and I, in these four years I've met in, in La Coruña, I found that uh, the design level there was uh, lower and I wasn't mixed with the designers there, so I couldn't find any colleagues and I know a lot of designers here and the community here is amazing. If you find one designer, you can find like a hundred. You, you just have to ask them and probably uh, the more you ask, the better designers you will find. Just ask me and you will find me, that's good, that's good enough. But I, uh, maybe you need a, a print designer, I know a couple of them. Actually, I know a guy that's awesome. You know that? So that was him. That was my colleague in school and the job. So the work. So you can try this. You can try Behance. Behance. I don't know how it's called. But it's, uh, you can try going to uh, what was the name uh, of the social? Dribble. Dribble. You can go to Dribble. There are a lot of hipster designers. There are a lot of. I'm not on Dribble because it's just for hipster designers. Jack is on no, no, no. <laughs> You see, Jack is on Dribble. Jack has been with, uh, watching his phone the whole conference. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can ask anything else. So what do you think... Sorry. Sorry. He, he raised it. No, no, he was no, first. No, but I raised it. He was first. What do you think about uh, designer coders, like GitHub's approach? You know, GitHub has a lot of people that... It's like a you, can, you can do magic and you can fight with a sword. Uh, we were talking about this uh, earlier in the... when we were having lunch today. Yeah, but I wasn't there. Yeah, I can tell <laughs> But that's what... that's... I'm, I'm explaining it. So please talk to music. Listen. Try to listen. Do I have to go back? <laughs> Uh, uh, there was a guy in 1983, the year where I was born, that studied the different kinds of intelligence in people. You know, uh, there are people that's awesome in math, uh, some others that are awesome in, in kinetic or uh, moving or running, or like Messi, for example. You have Einstein and you have Messi. Both of them are intelligent in their own kind of, their own little space. And you're asking a designer, you're asking a designer that the uh, uh, right side uh, of the brain people, person, sorry, that uh, it's creativity and art and beauty, that stuff, so uh, naive, and to mix, to be mixed with the uh, left side where people, that's all rational, mathematical, and that stuff. There are like uh, eight types of different, uh, according to this study, of intelligence, like spatial, uh, emotional, and that stuff. So there are people that's very good at Are you telling that programming is not a creative thing? Oh. 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 As, I, as I told you before, this is going to be a between engineering and arts. We can be friends. Everyone has, <laughs> everyone has a creative mind, Please, more or less. <laughs> everyone, everyone can be creative. <laughs> okay, uh, when I was uh, doing the, the, the little code I did in my life, I, uh, actually the, the rest of yeah, what? You did an if today, if. <laughs> I did an if in, in Ruby. <laughs> I, I didn't know how to do it, but uh, uh, yes, yeah, programming is a lot of creativity. Creativity is, is, a, is something that has to be everywhere. In maths, I'm sure there has to be creative, because to find uh, better solutions. But uh, art, art and that stuff and beauty and that code doesn't have to be beauty, but it can be beauty, because they, they, Pablo told me today that uh, Ruby was supposed to be beautiful code. No, that was Charles. It was Charles? No, but it was Pablo's code. <laughs> ah, yeah, and, and you say that it looked like crap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure that uh, I'm not saying that programmers shouldn't be creative. That, that, that's not what I meant. If I did uh, say that, I'm sorry. Anything else? You want to reply? Say so it was your answer that you cannot have a good developer and designer at the same time. That it's very rare to have a people, have a person that can design very, design, design nicely and program nicely. Well, well, a while ago I wrote an article called Fire, Fire Your Designer, it was yeah. a very cool article, mm -hmm. and I said that if programmers learn things all the time, designers should learn things all the time. 
I am, I am an example of this anger who is playing the ukulele now, it's, it's super new. Yeah, but we learn new languages and we need learn new platforms, so this anger should be the same. You just have a base of skills and talents, but you should be learning other qualifications, right? For example, do you use any version control system? I just give, and actually I, I have this, this uh, thing called Time Machine of uh, Apple. That's, <laughs> not, that's, not, that's not, no, 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 but for the timing is, when you, when you mess up something, you know, that's, that's, that's just for you, it is for everyone. Yeah. But what do you mean with version control? Exactly, apply it to design, right? Keeping all, keeping, all the design. keeping all the designs. Keeping all the designs, all the changes. No, not just all the stages. Everything you do in your company with other people is under version control. Can yes. everyone in your team review your what uh, do you do every every day of, of your You can you can do through I, everything I do that uh, finishes uh, in the app, mm -hmm. in Teambox in this case, it goes to through hit, hit app. Mm -hmm. So if I mess up something they, they can fix it and they can review it. Uh, talking about the designs exactly <laughs> like the PSD files. I cannot uh, keep a record of all of them, because it will uh, uh, require an amount of space, uh, an incredible amount of space. So I just have the time machine. That's a problem. problem. Sure. Have you tried to, if you want to open the, the last Teambox uh, website uh, PSD that occupies like uh, uh, 250 megabytes? It takes like uh, two minutes to load in my computer. That's not a problem. <laughs> sure? Yeah. Okay, how, how will you fix it? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I will be glad to know how to fix it. How to, how to keep record of all the changes I do in my designs. Uh, I, I, not, I usually make a, a backup every, every, if I made a lot of changes, I just simply made another file. Because it, it, the changes go uh, too dramatic. So, are you telling me that all you do in Teambox are PSDs? No. So? The other part is done, but uh, it's, uh, the version controls GitHub. Me. So, who, who takes your PSDs and, 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 and translate that into something? Uh, the JPG is that goes to the web to the team box, like a sprite with all the icons, PNG for example, or the CSS. Yeah. I do it myself, but I, it goes so, through GitHub. Okay, so you use Git? Yeah. I use GitHub Mac because and I don't know how to uh, type all the stuff in the terminal. It was like uh, gibberish to me. <coughs> Why not? Uh, they tried to tell me, and in the beginning I was using it like uh, a pull, a commit, a slash, and, and, I, and I was going crazy because all the all the all the stuff uh, looked the same to me, and I didn't know how to make changes. Now uh, with GitHub Mac, so I have a visual visual uh, template. Do you think it is a programmer's thing? That designers should, should never learn? No, we should learn it because if we will try, if you're in the, in the, as I said, we, we should get mixed together because if we get mixed, we, we can improve our, the work. Uh, it's like I improve the work of a programmer and he improves mine. He tells me better, better ways of doing my HTML or my CSS mm -hmm. and I tell him better ways to make a buttons look, for example, or how does uh, it? Uh, a little uh, theory of about code and that stuff. And the for example. There's reading and uh, HTML and CSS. Uh, yes. is, is part of a designer? That's that's a that's a that's a line. <laughs> that's that's interesting. That's a, a, a little red line. You know, mm -hmm. it's very hard to to differentiate between uh, between who who wants to do this. Uh, do you know how to, for example, make a, a typeface, for example? A what? A typeface, a font. How do I? How do you how know to, to design a typeface? How, how to design it, or what, which uh, software to use, and how it <laughs> came out? No. Okay. Should I know how to make uh, HTML and CSS? I think so. You yeah. think so? Yeah, what's the difference? You know the difference. I know the difference. Yeah, has nothing to do. With right, because uh, uh, the font has nothing to do with the programmers. Actually, it has a lot of programming. In the, in the, the open typefaces uh, has ha half code. And for example, if you're typing uh, double F in the open typefaces, they 
they change the character, and there appears a, another a different uh, font, uh, a different type that's the two Fs together joined together. Mm -hmm. So that's done by by code. I know all this stuff, but I, I, I will never do a conference uh, because that's from the open I don't think that's that this thing adds value to uh, the things I do. Okay, uh, as, as you said, uh, what I was <coughs> trying to say is uh, the HTML? Yes, I do web, web development. Okay. So For me, the HTML. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. that's what I say, that's what I say. You didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish. Speaking of gifts, wait, 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 <laughs> Wait a second, I'm just going to finish my, my argument. Uh, yes, a font has nothing to do with the uh, programmers, really programmers, uh, developers uh, thing. Uh, but HTML and CSS is like a mix between the designers and a, and a coder. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a designer uh, should know more or less how to do HTML and CSS. But uh, the most important thing, he should know how it works. Not, uh, he, maybe he cannot know how to do it exactly, how to work with SAS, for example, or how to make run the dates in, in, a, in a deep, but he should know how to, how, that this is a possibility and that it's, there's someone who can do that. So, for example, me, I know, I know, but... Another question here, just another question. Yeah. Question. And the way you see it, it's not that important the, the editor or the tools you use, it's not the best thing. but <laughs> he's, he's, he's trying. But, I think it has a question. But my question is, and I think it's more important the devices in which your design is gonna is gonna be shown, right? So yeah. how how do you match your ESDs or your design that you think in a in a fixed space with a big amount of, of devices that can after display your your work, so which is which is a technical issue, at the end. Yeah, yeah, that's, it is a very long. Yeah. <coughs> For example, right now we designed the team, we pre-designed the team box website, and I uh, we was just thinking in the in the HTML, in the browser, desktop browser thing. We we're not thinking about uh, iOS or little phones or the other devices, just desktop devices. But uh, the design is done, and uh, everything you can, the everything is done with uh, I don't know how to say it, modulos, modules, modules, modules. <laughs> And if you've done it uh, well enough, you will be able to just uh, resize the content and or place it, just moving it. Uh, but if you want, you have to change, you have to think about two stuff, two, two different things. When in advertising, in advertising, marketing and that stuff, when they do a, a, a publication or something, an advertisement, they make it uh, work for, uh, uh, you know, the big cartel on uh, the highways. And they have to make it work for a for a little magazine, or or even for radio. But that's a different stuff. So uh, you have to work it to make it work in, in the three three different things, but making uh, the same so communicating the same stuff. So Jews have the same elements, and basically, if you can just resize them and change the the proportion, it should work that way. You you have to think of, of them all at the same time. You have to be thinking, when you start designing the website, you have to be thinking on, okay, when I turn this into an iOS web, probably I will hide this, but I will show it in, a, in another place. Yeah, but I'm not talking about iOS. Ah. I mean, it's very different. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In desktop, different devices, do you think it's that complex that maybe it's a, the right side of your brain that you have to use to design? <laughs> That's, I mean, it's so precise. If you, if you do a, not a deep, a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, t I tend to use I, I tend to use fixed width, but uh, I tell you why because uh, there's a there's a uh, when I was in school in typography they showed us that uh, long lines of text are difficult to read if, if with uh, long text is with a lot of lines. Uh, you've uh, I'm sure you've seen this. If you had a big screen in your computer and you open uh, an email and just make it uh, to the whole desktop. You will be able to read the first line, but when you try to jump, you just lose yourself. So if you work, for example, I try to work with uh, fixed width, so the so it, it, it doesn't depend uh, on the size of the browser. But I also, when I do it, I try to think about what will happen when the browser changes. 
because if it, uh, it's like uh, no, it's, I don't know how it's called when you resize it and everything moves and responsive. Yeah, responsive. I sometimes I try to, to think about uh, how it will look when it's responsive and when you resize it. But you have to think when what will be out of the page. Maybe you have a 800 by, by 600 and you have to show everything there. But if you resize, you will, as, as a designer, I'm always trying to make a maximum width. For example, in Teambox, if you make the, the browser as long as you can, you'll find the, that the conversation and the tasks uh, get stuck in, in some widths because if they get longer, it will be very hard to read. I don't know if that was a question, sorry if I <laughs> messed up everything, but it's okay. You went through the answers. Yeah. Yeah. I have one other question. Do you think a good web designer is good at Photoshop or at CSS? Or CSS? Or Firebird. Or Firebird. Yeah. A good web designer should know, should know uh, uh, a tool to make the designs and a tool to... And, and how will they be done with HTML and CSS? So the answer is... They, they sh should, they, he should know it. He should know how, how HTML and CSS work. Maybe he, as I said, maybe he doesn't know how to type it itself, but, uh, himself, but he should know the limitations of the language. Uh, when print designers uh, in the 19s were designing for magazines and stuff, they know uh, that they can use like a limited, a limited number of, of inks, like they have four, and if they want to put another one, it will be expensive. It will be a pantone and it will be more expensive. <coughs> So you have to know the, the, uh, the final device you're going to use. Either it's a piece of paper or a screen. You have to know... Can a designer get outdated? Outdated? What's yeah. the difference between designers today and designers 10 years ago? Yeah, I, I mean, are you talking about <laughs> designers or web designers? Yeah. Because for me it's completely different. Yeah. There's, there's nothing really... Designers, uh, <laughs> designers is uh, graphic designers, fashion designers, and there's design... Yeah, yeah. I, I was so talking... what do you mean by designer? By designer I mean... Speech. In this speech is graphic designer. Graphic designer. Graphic okay. designer. Okay. Not printed media. Yeah, but graphic designer uh, and blue, actually, to work with the there, are two, there are two or more branches in graphic design. Actually, there's mm -hmm. motion design that also you can put mm -hmm. it there in the middle. But there is a, a, like digital designers, like for screen, for screen and print designers. But actually, they, they can be the same. They, they are designers that can do print and screen, and they do it with the package. Actually, the basics of design are the same, but the web design is like a specialization. Very big specialization that you have to know a little of the uh, graphic user interface and exp user experience. Sadly, what about that? Yeah, that's, that's another speech. <laughs> are, are those uh, things related to designers or is someone else it should take that? User experience and user interface, I think they touch a little bit of psychology and, and the stuff that's very hard to understand. But for the, for the, my mind. Also, it's about uh, structure of information. Yeah, that's a. Uh, uh, how was the An emphasis on the, on the, on the textual of uh, the text. And that's all the uh, yeah. yeah. This is also related to creativity, to design, right? Yeah, but creativity is, uh, is everywhere, as I said before. I put in my opinion, it's everywhere. You need creativity for, for everything. If you find that the, in your house uh, all the napkins fall, you maybe will have to find a, a solution. <coughs> and it doesn't have to be like an architect or anything or, or an industrial designer to make something work. Maybe you just get a clip or something and you fill it. you're creative and it works. So that's creativity, let's take creativity so out of it. Defend your work. So? Defend your work. My work? Is that <laughs> your job? My job. Yeah. As I said in the beginning, you know, in the first slide. Are you telling me that everyone can make with our YouTube with YouTube? No, everyone has an aesthetic. Everyone, not everyone has an eye for, for beautiful stuff or uh, your. There's no beautiful things. There's things that work and things that don't work. Oh, 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 oh. There are beautiful stuff. They, they are. If he was once here. they work, once they work, they can be beautiful or regular. You know. Better or worse. You understand? Don't go. Don't go. Uh, Do you think that matches. form follows function? <laughs> is this the Bauhaus or something? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Can architects become web designers? I've seen, uh, actually, uh, there was a, a, an architect that became font designer and was uh, Susanna Lico. Mm. Nobody knows her. 
Maybe the theology designers <laughs> no, know. Do you know Enigri? It's a Enigri or Enigri. It's a from the foundry from the 90s or the 80s. It's very old. So she was a, the, an architect and she became a phone designer. She had a mind for it. I've got a relative who is architect and designer as well. So <laughs> yeah, architects can be. He's not working as an architect nowadays, he's working as a designer. So. Yeah, yeah design, uh, architect is like a thing that uh, you can study and then you can go uh, to say, yeah, I'm an architect. I, I am an architect. I can do industrial design, I can do uh, interior design and graphic design. Actually, they, they train them uh, very well. And maybe if you are doing the ar architecture, it's because you like, uh, um, you know, <coughs> actually, you know, deep inside is this design and architect architecture are more or less headed in the same direction. So you are good at one, maybe you are good at, uh, at the other one. <coughs> maybe you just uh, forget the uh, get the wrong path and went to architect and, and you went to you wanted to be a designer or you are better fit to be a designer. So yeah, the, uh, architects. I, I've seen architects that became uh, anything they want, they are artists or anything. I don't know what was the last question. Are we out of time or something? As I said in the beginning, I, I thought that, that it would take longer to answer the questions than to do the speech. And it was true.